Hey everyone, it's been a while since I did an Illustrator tutorial and I actually got a question from one of my university students the other day about this, so I figured I'd make a tutorial about it. Uh, some of you may be wondering how to make uh, rounded edges on shapes, so go ahead and go to Adobe Illustrator and you can see if you click and hold, if you go to File New, just create a new file, and you can see that here's a rounded rectangle tool, but you know there's just a rectangle tool, a star tool, and there's not really, doesn't seem to be a setting to make, you know, rounded edges on uh, this star, for example. You could, you know, try to go to the direct selection tool and mess with adjusting the anchors. You could possibly go to the warp tool or the pucker and bloat tool and try to manually uh, make them curved. But there's a really easy way to do this. Um, so go ahead and draw out a star. If you click and hold on to the rectangle tool, go down the star tool, just click and drag, hold shift if you want the right uh, purport, default proportion. All you gotta do is go to effect, and then go down to stylize, and then go down to round corners. And then from there, let's say I do 10 pixels, and if I click preview, it'll preview what it'll look like. And if I do 50, it's a little bit more, as you can kind of see there. So I'm going to hit OK, and that's the fast way to get rounded corners on shapes like a star, for example. And you can still use the white uh, arrows and adjust these anchor points. It's really helpful if you're creating maybe a logo or something like that. Uh, and you can do this not just with the star, but you can do this, say, uh, if you're doing something like the rectangle, and you go to Effect, Stylize, Round Corners, Preview, and then it is a lot, it's a lot more rounded than just the default rounded rectangle. So that's how you do that. Uh, pretty simple technique. A lot of people aren't aware of it uh, when they just want to have the edges a little bit softer on their shapes in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks.